the Firestone Dragon is a deadly and fierce fire breather, but if found as a hatchling, it is possible to train this dragon. But it is not my quest to teach you how to train a dragon. I'm here to teach you to draw a dragon. So that is my attempts at theater or something. I don't know. Let's get going. So I gave out a request a while ago on my Facebook page on three different sketches of a dragon to see which one you guys wanted to see drawn first. And it was pretty close between two of them, but number three pulled out in the front. So I'm going to teach you how to draw this tiny little dragon, though when it grows up it's not so tiny. So I'm going to start off with my just body form and I'm going to go ahead and place in a circle for the head, a circle for the main chest area a circle for the hips, and then just connect it with the line of the backbone, which will also snake around to the tail. Once I have this down, then I can begin to flush it out and make it look more like a dragon than some sort of weird circles and spaghetti noodles. So, I'm going to add a small circle here for the beak of the dragon and kind of create in my skull shape. Now because this is a baby dragon I want to really emphasize on a large forehead and small mouth. Um, it's going to give it um, a cuter appearance therefore giving us a baby like appearance. As you saw from my adult picture the Firestone Dragon has really long slitted eyes so I want to keep that in my design of the baby. I'm not going to give her as thin of irises as I do the adult. I'm going to give her a little bit rounder eyes and that's going to also add into the cute factor. All right, now they do have these really great horns. I love how I talk about these dragons as if they are like real, but that's the fun thing about drawing imaginary creatures is that you get to decide um, what their habitat and and lifestyle is like, um, where they live, um, their temperament, all of that. So that's the fun part about an imaginary drawing imaginary creatures. And I want to keep her body very slender. As she matures, she'll bulk up a little bit, but she'll always be kind of a kind of the lizard form more than the dinosaur form of dragons. So here's her, her body shape, so I'm going to add in her little feet and I'm going to block those in with some just basic lines. And the one thing I'm going to do that's different from my original sketch is I'm going to thicken out her legs a little bit and by giving her shorter and thicker legs is also going to give her more of an appearance of being a baby. Think of those chubby little baby legs. And as she grows up they'll just slender down a little bit. I'm just going to bring those down and really there's not much to teach on drawing a dragon because your dragon can look completely different from my dragon and be, you know, absolutely perfect for what your dragon looks like. Um, just once you get this basics of how to build up your shapes and build up your framework, the detailing part is really up to each individual artist. And then she's going to have this really kind of cool um, kind of webbed spiking that goes down along her back. And the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to have this come down the center as if I'm cutting right a line right between her eyes. And then I'm going to spike that back. And bring that all the way down her back. Then when I get to the tip of her tail, it just kind of flares out into um, 
kind of this nice tail end. There we go. All right, and the last thing I want to do is create some tiny wings. I kind of would think that, like a bird, she couldn't fly right away. Um, she would have to learn how to kind of grow into her wings a little bit. So they would, you wouldn't have to draw them necessarily um, big enough to actually carry her. Just baby wings. She'd learn how to fly later. Let me get that second wing in there. And basically when drawing kind of like a bat wing, I put in these two main bone shapes and they're kind of arched in, in shape and then pull out some spines and then connect it with a web and as the web stretches it kind of um, if you if you look at like a duck's foot or even a bat wing um, as the webbing connects between the two, the two bones it kind of stretches and kind of warps down just a little bit and so about three spines down would be I think enough I mean you could add as many as you'd like Right there. there we go. So pretty much like all the, the sketching out details are, are complete on my dragon. So now I'm just going to take my ink pen and ink her in and then add in a little bit of coloring and maybe a tad bit of shading. This is where you can get really creative. You can decide, you know, whatever kind of color you want. Um, I'm going to really base her off of kind of what my adult looks like. So I'm going to use a lot of the same color schemes. But you could take this dragon design and, and have her be, you know, a water dragon or an air dragon or, you know, um, a tulip dragon. I don't know. Whatever you want to make this dragon a dragon of. That's the fun of having an imagination and all that fun stuff. So my, my question for you guys is if you could own any kind of dragon, what um, what special feature would be about your dragon? Would it have a, you know, a special element attached to it? Would it be a speed dragon or a fire breathing dragon? Or, you know, if, if you had, you know, to create it up 100%, like you can say, well, I want Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Or, or if I wanted Draco from Dragonheart. If you had to create your entirely your own unique dragon, what kind of dragon would it be? So leave that in the comment box below. And if you decide to draw your own dragon, well, let me know and show me those pictures by posting them over on my Facebook page. Make sure to like my Facebook page and you also might get a chance to vote on future video designs and all sorts of things you never know. And I also post a lot of free printable artwork there. So it's not just um, a great way to get updated and be able to share these videos, but also you get a lot of free stuff as well. So check it out. Link is in the description box below. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and for hanging out with me today. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.